coronavirus is your baby ready today I'm going to teach you how to make a 60-day baby supply kit but first let's hear from an official all of us want to ensure ourselves and our loved ones um, are safe and protected. I'm going to expand a little bit around um, preparedness and talked about the need for us all to be prepared. Um, some simple things you can do now is make sure that you have food and basic supplies like medicine at home, like the same kinds of things that we would recommend uh, that people keep in stock in case of other emergencies, like um, a power outage um, or an earthquake. Alternate plans for childcare. Um, talk to your employer about options for sick, sick leave and telework. We um, have a lot of technology now and it's now's the time to you know be able to take advantage of some of that technology if your work allows it. Um, as the situation continues, local health authorities may make recommendations to cancel uh, community events or, or close schools, um, but individuals still need to make personal decisions. And now is the time to start making those personal decisions. You don't want to wait until it's too late and the store shelves are empty. And by then, it may be too late and you would have very few choices. Hi, it's Jamie Pendleton. We are back. Actually, we're in the nursery because today we are going to discuss how to prepare for a baby. Preparing uh, 30 days to 60 days or even a year worth of supplies for a baby is a lot or a toddler in my case here <laughs> she that's right she's running around and walking uh katie is 14 months old uh, this week and it's going by so fast you know so um so what we're doing now is we've been prepping this week for a 30 day to a 60 day supply for katie I've hit more on the 90 day supply, I think. <laughs> so uh, just to be on the safe side, because I do not want her out and we do have the coronavirus now in Marion County. So it's just the county south of us. And my daughter works in Marion County. So just on a quick response, my last video, the 30 day one, I'm going to link that here in the box. It'll be over here, I think. <laughs> I'll link that in the box right here. At the end of the video at the end of the video there will be a box to go to my 30-day um, supply uh, quick buy supply it is not a healthy supply if you wanted to be healthy then trust me I've been preaching this for eight years I've been telling people get a garden go to the farmers markets do some canning and some freezing do some uh, dehydrating but in this case the virus is here it's a little bit too late for that so all of my preps at this point are going to a to my daughter it was it will stay here because they didn't prep at all so and you know people think oh well, I prep they expect you to don't stick your finger in your throat people think that you're gonna prep for your whole family because you know it's all fun and games you know we have jobs mom we can't do it well so do I uh, it's always an excuse but I realized at this point that if I don't prep and pay for it they're just not going to and I don't want to lose my grandchildren and my children right and my in-laws so I've been doing it for him. Take it out. Did you take it out? You want it back in? Hang on. Um, but we do have 14 grandchildren between us, so we're we're working on that, right? And we're going to go see your cousins this weekend, too. And with the coronavirus, we almost did it. But um, especially since one of them's in school and he's been sick. But they say he's feeling better. He's not running a fever. And uh, I think if they keep their hands washed... You know, the thing about kids is kids do keep their hands in their mouths. They do put every toy in their mouth. And in Brooklyn, and both Brooklyn and Katie, my both my granddaughters, are teething, which means they're drooling a lot. There's a lot of bodily fluids there. They're snotting from the teething. And it's hard to tell between the teething and the whining and the colds and the whining. So just babies in general are just very unique. So let's get with it and let's show you what we, uh, what we bought and what we have been storing over time. Um, but I suggest that you go out and get something along this level of, um, and along this, um, this plane of what you should be having. And most people have this stuff already in their nursery because they have baby gear. You know, they already have the baby supplies. But don't let yourself run low is what I'm saying. And buy extras. Buy enough to get you through for at least 60 days to 90 days for a baby. I, I tell everybody you should actually prep for children longer. Um, and you should plan on not taking your children out during this virus time 
get a babysitter that you know that's uh, coming in every day that's healthy so let's get started on the list of things that you, that you should be preparing and if anybody has any suggestions be sure to leave the comment down below because I'm sure I'm missing some things okay I sure am. I'm sure I am hey boo bear are you in the laundry so let's start with washing clothes wash we wash a load or two every day don't wear the same clothes get them washed and like I said even wash the shoes Okay, all right, so let's start here. She's a good, this is Vix by Bit Vix and Vix Vapo Pads. A little Vapo Pads sit right here, but a good uh, humidifier for the baby's room is a good idea. And I like this one because it adjusts up and down. And she likes it because it's got the little fish in here. It's got the little fish that keeps the water from molding. It's got the little fish filter. Uh-oh, see, I showed her how to do it. Uh-oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh oh, let's not do that, okay? She can turn it off and on. She's learning about buttons, and so I don't want to—I don't want to not influence her about stuff. So, <laughs> I brought up uh, extra trash bags for this, so we'll have plenty of trash bags for the diaper pail. And you want to keep the diaper pail scrubbed down, sprayed uh, down with the disinfectant, and just keep it clean because a lot of bacteria and stuff and viruses come out through bodily fluids. <laughs> Diapers. I told you about that I got the diapers that were coating out at uh, Dollar General and so these were all 50% off plus my coupons I had for each one for a couple dollars off and then they ended up being between three and seven dollars a box for all of these boxes here so I picked up all that they had except for the Pampers and I left a few boxes behind and I got different sizes she's about out of her threes but the gentle steps are large for threes. So I knew she'd wear these for a while because she's about 24 pounds. So she's got about four more pounds she can gain in this. So we're gonna use these up by day and then we use the loves or the huggies by night. I like loves, my daughter likes huggies, so it worked out. Um, plus remember, we're doing cloth diapering as well. So this is gonna really last. And she's in potty training, aren't you, honey? Are you in potty training? Oh, look at your little hair. Let me, cut, let me put my, your bow back in. Are you in potty training? Have you been peeping in the toilet in the morning? Yeah. yeah, you're doing good. She's actually doing really good with it. I mean, she's only 14 months old. So I just want her to get used to it. In an emergency, potty chair, potty training. So, and I tell people, instead of packing all this toilet paper you're all taking, just get a bidet. You can even make a bidet out of a squirt bottle, out of a little water bottle. Just mark it, you know poop bottle and spray your own butt but you don't have to spend that much money on toilet paper you can reduce your toilet paper by more than half by getting something like that so um so half price for all of these dollar general i picked them up on the cheap that's in my other video but i wanted to add it to the baby video here um parent choice wipes and the refills this is the best deal one of the best deals out there and dollar general i had a coupon for a three pack for that as well um, pick up their extra snacks that they like and uh, I only brought one item of that upstairs that's all in the kitchen and then enough of their foods that they like so be sure and prep foods that your children you know will eat and she's already eating what we eat so she'll be eating the foods we eat won't you darling and that's all my canned goods like beef stew chicken noodle soup things like that she'll eat oh do you want one now Box this is open your and you know it now you? let's come over to here right here I just keep the diapers here in a box I'm washing the cloth diapers which sit here so and all the covers so they're getting washed today and then here we also have some fours down here you want another one I'll put those in there so so like I said, two loads of laundry a day just to keep her clothes washed and to keep her diapers washed. I'm not going to leave anything laying around. And so her other diaper pail like this is gone as well. But I like this because it locks and she can't get in it. And these Ubi diaper pails really help with the odor. And they lock. That's a good thing. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi, Boober. <laughs> diaper rash paste and remember i use my homemade paste which you can get that recipe uh, i'll link it down below with the cloth diaper uh, video that i made how i cloth diaper video or you can just search it 
Janie Pendleton, um, how or Arlo Homestead cloth diapering. Just search that one, and uh, that gives you my homemade diaper cream that works with the cloth diapers. Yes, that's something that washes out. The extra toothpaste and extra toothbrushes, and be sure and put the toothbrushes through the steam setting of the dishwasher or wash in really hot soapy water. Um, I keep our toothbrush clean and I keep extras and also I'll link the video down below where I recycled this formula container and I use it for my refillables and it holds it holds a lot now snacks you want to pack plenty of snacks for the kids cereals whatever they whatever age whatever they're eating um i actually the baby's water here which is made it's distilled water and when they start getting their teeth you'll want to get some probably with fluoride in it be sure and ask your doctor about that this is just distilled water and it can be used either in here or in her bottles and i got 12 gallons of this and that should be enough to last us for quite some time and her toddler formula uh, pack up on plenty of formula if you're not nursing okay nursing up to two years good thing um, keep nursing if you're in a crisis keep nursing if someone gets sick then you're just continuing to give those uh, healthy antibodies to the baby because once the nursing stops within a month or two uh, they start catching all the colds and things and then nature starts giving them their immunities by giving them things trust me by the time they're in kindergarten they get pretty sick preschool and kindergarten hopefully by first and second grade they don't miss as much school you know uh their, their immune system is building itself up so that's not a bad thing so um so toddler milk and i actually got my toddler milk at walmart this time i did here but they had a scratch and dent cans and i got all the scratch and dent cans for her age group that they had because it's powder it's not going to go bad if there's no holes in the can so i got that and i picked that up for three dollars a can you can't beat that so always look in the discount clearance aisles first all right and if you don't have it there then go look for your coupons and then see what you can buy at the cheapest price baby wash and shampoos you'll buy several bottles of these uh, more shampoos you'll buy several bottles of these and your favorite brands uh, here they were going out of business with the baby Gannix off the shelves and so I grabbed what I could because I have three of these on each level of the home wherever there's a diapers changing station in the house we have the baby Gannix a pump foam spray and so you can see here it's just really easy and you need to do two squirts you need to make sure that your hands really are covered with it all the way up the arms get those nails and I get one more shot just to get the nails and um, and one of these bottles lasts us about four months so just one full bottle of this in the baby's room is going to last you a while and just be sure and keep your hands cleaned after every diaper change I actually washed my hands before and after diaper changes all right so I have extra those and one of these is open and it must be this one and I just taken a refill and these bottles have lasted me since she was born Good. I don't want to fill it up all the way because I have to put this unit down in there and screw it on there we go and it smells so delicious there we go nice fresh nice and fresh get the lid on there quick keep it fresh all right and i store these extra bottles and all this extra stuff in her bathroom linen closet so it's not out here this is not usually here remember you can also use this to clean your baby's hands with as well and they don't it doesn't dry it out this is great stuff we've this works that's all i know i don't know what all is in it but it works i never really stopped to look i just know it works all right now saline saline spray is very important we have two different types for her and this is just the equate it's not very expensive but this helps get all the goop out and my daughter uses the suction spray one here but I think that you're definitely whenever you're sucking in like that you can definitely breathe in some um, some germs so I don't 
I don't like doing it that way. I'd rather just use the old-fashioned bulb that you can wash. So a little saline, about 60 seconds in the nose, tipped, you know, with their head tipped back. I know they don't like it. If you get the uh, squirt kind of saline, then um, that works. So be sure and have your saline and your nose fritta or your your bulb, and keep these washed. Thermometers are important. I keep about three to four thermometers around, and then I take the average of two of the thermometers that I use when she's sick. Okay, let's talk Tylenol and Motrin. They do two different things. I'll let John explain that a little bit better in a minute, since he's the doctor in the family for medicine. But I will tell you that you can use these together or intermittently, okay? Just be sure and figure out your child's size. And you can see here my husband was figuring because if you buy something like this and it doesn't have her, the baby's age group on it, you can either call the doctor and she'll tell you she has it in the chart and or you can figure it out and my husband can show you how to figure that out. But she's at, at her weight, she's at 3.75 milliliters. And so when she was born, she was at um, 1.25, which was here. Then at six months, she was a little bit below the 2.5, and now she's at 3.75 right there, okay? So just to give you an idea, that may look like a lot, but that's the amount. And different products might be different amounts. So you have to figure it out mathematically based if it's not on their chart. And they have charts online too that you can look at from the actual company. Don't go outside the company to look for charts. We just keep it over here uh, with her medicines. And I just keep it right here in between so I can get to that quickly. And then her, th her uh, thermometer goes right over the top of that. Her nose thing here and her nose Frida slides right in here as well. Now she's getting, oops, I forgot this. And by the way, you want to wash these out, okay? Every time you use them, wash them out. Soap and water, really good. If you can't even, if you have to steam them, steam them. I know a lot of people won't mention this part, but keep your bed linens cleaned. Keep them washed. Even if you have these uh, clear bumpers here, you know, the breathable bumpers. A lot of people don't have them. And even where they chew up here on these tie-offs. Those are on there so she doesn't chew the wood off and the uh, paints off. Keep, yeah, you see it? Do you see it? You're brushing your teeth? Say hi. <laughs> so anyway, just clean the area. I use a Clorox wipe and I go over everything and I wash her sheets once a week. Sometimes more than that because she leaks sometimes because she's a good sleeper. Um, a nice soft chair to rock them in and to keep all their quilts and everything clean as well. So, and you know that I have my homemade laundry detergent, and that just works wonders. Baby monitors, I want to show that up there. The baby monitor up there, very important. Her story time automated goose from the 1980s. And here, my phone here. And a favorite book, lots of fluids, right? Lots of vitamins and fluids. And their favorite little animals here, their favorite toys. What is that? Guitar bathe you every morning don't we keep her clean and we wash her hair and keep her clean and I put a little bit of soap with uh, non-bleach uh, non in the in the bath water with her just a squirt just a squirt and it's working 
she didn't get sick until she had the flu that her mom brought home from work. You know, she's in a really tight, close quarters office with a lot of people running around in an accounting firm. And, uh, and then she also brought home everybody a cold. So, hi, baby girl, lemon. Ooh, Mimi likes lemons. Cookies. C is for cookie. D is for dog. E is for elephant. What's an elephant say? Oh. Yeah. 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 F is for frog. Okay. Yeah, it's zebra. What's your favorite one? Mm. Can you show me your favorite? Mm. Just any one is very important. So you can see prepping for your child is very important. What is that in your hair? It's a, oh, it's a stirring. I was hoping it wasn't snot. Yeah. Oh, you got your light on. It's daylight. We don't need to have a light on on this. Let's turn the light off. There we go. Oh, you going to read to your hippo? You going to read to the hippo? Yeah. Yeah. I is for ice cream. J is for jam. K is for kite. And L is for lamb. Okay, I love you. I love you. And this is my bright and morning star right here. This is my children and my grandchildren. It's the most precious things. And it just, it breaks my heart to see anything happen to one of them. So let's keep them healthy and happy and educated. So someday they'll be taken off and, and copying us and doing what we do. They already imitate us when they're little. God said, show them the way, and they would return, and they do. They return back to the ways of their, the ways of their, of their training. At this time, I know you have to take care of children. So, um, so at this time, while we're taking care of children, it's best not to kiss them. It's hard to keep, when they get sick, it's hard when you're the caretaker not to get it, because they're all over you. But if you can keep the family and keep the things like the hand pumps around the house and the hand sanitizers when they're coming in from work, Keeping their shoes, just shoes alone, sat on a couple of Clorox wipes. It really helps. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. So I'd get lots of Clorox wipes, lots, lots of the hand pump type hand cleaners. Those do not, the baby organics, if you can still get them all in the pump sprays and the refills. So anyway, if you have any tips or tricks, then uh, leave a comment below. Right, baby girl? We love you. Say, we love you. Go with God. Can you say, can you pray? Katie, can you pray? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Can you do that? Good yeah. Baby. Say, Jonathan. Jonathan was a baby. Jonathan. Getting a little sleepy. I'm getting sleepy. Anyway, we want to thank you for joining us. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. All right. We love you. Go with God. And don't forget to uh, subscribe down below. And what else, Katie? <laughs> Peppa Pig. That's Peppa Pig. You're watching it upside down.